In the next few videos, we're going to go over Mendelian concepts of genetics. This video is going to start by looking at DNA as genetic material. In particular, we're going to take a look at two experiments that demonstrate this. The Griffiths experiments, as well as the Hershey and Chase experiments. Let's start with the Griffiths experiments. We can understand how the experiments that Griffiths performed by taking a look at this diagram. Griffiths was studying bacteria that produced the disease pneumonia. He was studying two different strains of bacteria. One of the strains of bacteria had a rough texture, so he called these the rough strain or the R strain. When he injected mice with the R strain of bacteria, the mice did not die. So essentially this strain of bacteria was non-virulent and does not cause disease. He was also looking at another strain of bacteria with a smooth texture, which he called the smooth strain or the S strain. When the S strain of bacteria is injected into mice, the mice die of pneumonia. So the S strain of bacteria is virulent and produces disease. In the next experiment, Griffith took the S strain of bacteria and killed them using heat. So when these bacteria are killed by heat, that means the cells are dead, they're not living. And when he took these heat-killed S bacteria and injected them into mice, the mice did not die, which makes sense because the S strain of bacteria are not living. In the last experiment, he took these heat-killed S strain bacteria, combined them with living R strain bacteria, and injected this mixture into mice. And what he found was that the mice died, and furthermore, when he inspected the bodies of these dead mice, he found living S-strain bacteria. So essentially from these experiments, Griffiths identified that the R-strain bacteria was transformed into S-strain bacteria by some component of the heat-killed S-strain bacteria. At the time, Griffith was not sure what this component was, but in later experiments, this was determined to be DNA. Essentially, in a follow-up experiment, scientists treated the heat-killed S-strain bacteria with an enzyme called DNAs. DNAs digests and breaks down DNA. And when the heat-killed S-strain bacteria were treated with DNAs and then mixed with R-strain bacteria, the R-strain bacteria was not converted into the S-strain bacteria. So essentially DNA from the heat-killed S-strain bacteria was necessary to convert the R-strain into S-strain. Okay, so this is the Griffiths experiments. Let's now take a look at the Hershey and Chase experiments. Hershey and Chase were looking at bacteriophages. These are viruses that infect bacterial cells. Viruses were known to introduce genes into bacteria and essentially hijack the bacteria's normal machinery to produce more viral particles. So you can see what Hershey and Chase did in their experiments in this diagram. Essentially, Hershey and Chase used radio-labeled isotopes to produce two different types of viruses. One type of virus has radio-labeled phosphorus to label the DNA molecules, and the other type of virus has radio-labeled sulfur to label the protein molecules. Hershey and Chase then used these two types of viruses they produced to infect bacterial cells. After infecting the cells, the scientists isolated the cellular contents of the infected cells and looked for the presence of radio-labeled sulfur and phosphorus. What Hershey and Chase found was that the infected bacterial cells had taken up the 32 phosphorus, but not the 35 sulfur. So essentially demonstrating that viruses were introducing DNA into the bacteria, not proteins. And again, these experiments confirmed that DNA is the genetic material in cells.